Okay, in this uh, video we are going to talk about the Clausius Clapeyron This is kind of a weird spelling, you always have to check Clapeyron Equation And this is an equation that chemists in the lab can use to find delta, uh, delta H of vaporization Delta H VAP for any given liquid. Okay, so let me give you the equation. And it's, well, it's not really long. I was going to say it's long. Um, and there can be different forms of this that are all mathematically equivalent, but look a little bit different when you first look at them. So that's net, the LN there is natural log of vapor pressure is equal to negative, let's see, yeah, negative delta H VAP over R times 1 over T plus natural log of beta. Okay, so let's talk about each of those terms one by one. Uh, that's just vapor pressure. has vapor pressure at a given temperature, and it's that temp there, that's the temp in Kelvin. Let's just say Kelvin temp. And if you're unsure as to whether it's Kelvin temp or not, just look at R, and R is 8.314 joules per Kelvin times mole, so we know it has to be Kelvin, temp, the temp. To match and then that beta that's just a constant for the substance that's something you would look up but really we don't use this equation to calculate things oh and then Delta H map that's obviously the, um, uh, the enthalpy of vaporization And it has units of joules per mole. Usually kilojoules per mole, but obviously we can convert between joules and kilojoules. Okay. Um, and if you look, well, maybe if you don't look, this takes the form of y is equal to m x plus b. So I know I made that kind of big, um, but let's go through that one one thing at a time. Y is a natural log of vapor pressure. Um, the M, which is the slope, is negative delta H VAP over R. X is one over T. And then B is natural log of beta. Okay. So if we make a plot, of natural log of the vapor pressure versus 1 over T in Kelvin. Um, and we get, we'll get a straight line out of this, okay, with a, a negative slope. And, you know, we will get some equation. Uh, you would do this on Excel, you know, or in a graphing program. And you get Y is equal to MX plus B. You get an equation that looks like that. And we can use M to solve for delta H VAP because we know that M is equal to negative delta H VAP over R. And so delta H VAP is equal to negative MR. So you multiply the slope by the uh, uh, gas constant and you can get the um, delta H of vaporization for any substance, okay? You gotta take lots of data points of temperature and vapor pressure, and then you plot those, just like you would you would do for any graph, you know? You'd have lots of data points along this line. Um, 
we're not going to do that. You know, it could be something you would do in a, a different lab someday. But that's what the Clausius Clapeyron equation is for. And in the next video, I'll talk more about this equation.